Hey 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 traders. How are you doing? Natumaini mko vizuri. Traders wote mnafanya sawa. You are doing well with your trading and uh, everything else concerned with the uh, market. Kwa hiyo nafikiri mnaenda vizuri. So uh we are carrying on. Tuko tunafanya vizuri and we are carrying on with uh, presenting those valuable things eh. Vitu vile ambavyo viko useful, vitu ambavyo vitakusaidia vitakusogeza kwenye trading so we keep on bringing them to you. Kwa it is up to you maybe to keep on following this channel and getting all the valuable things in your trading, incorporating them to have a successful trading or not. Ni wewe tu ambaye utaweza ku decide which side do you want. So, here is Assam Forex Tanzania. This is our YouTube home page and it's where you can connect with us in every side in every corners. Unaweza ka connect us na sisi kwa maeneo mbalimbali vitu kama broker ambaye tuko tuna recommend sana lakini pia kuna vitu kama Telegram, kuna Trading View, kuna Instagram and and anything else. Unaweza kaenda kwenye home page then na click is button ziko very active. So make sure you do that ili uweze ku keep in touch with us. So bila ku waste time leo it is another weekend and this weekend hatuna trader stock. Hatujafanya trader stock uh, through uh, through this week. Hatujafanya even in the middle of the week lakini pia hatujafanya uh, in the weekend uh, na I think because of the timetable uh, ile kwamba kuna kuwa vitu viko vingi sana lakini pia hata watu wa kufanya nao sessions wako wako busy na na, na Easter festival so uh, yeah we didn't have time maybe to uh, to connect with the traders lakini that's not a problem tutakuja kufanya next time tutakuja kuwa na session uh, muendelezo wa session ya trader stock so because uh, we have time and we still working even on festivals so tumeamua to sky kimia so we are going to drop or to bring to you a very useful thing that very few traders knows about this wako traders wachache sana wanajua yani most of traders they know that they have to find a good strategy they have to find maybe anything else in ile lakini there are certain things that uh, most of traders they they skip them they take them simple wanachukulia viko rahisi lakini those things they are not simple like that and then ah they don't affect my trading actually let me concentrate with this lakini everything actually ambayo iko kwenye market has got its own effect so leo to suspend muda mwingi sana introducing this today tukienda straight kwenye <coughs> tutatumia this uko the match trade technology so tutajaribu kuzungumza na those uh, the idea of the match trader match trader match trade technologies match trade now this is a company ambayo iko uh, ina provide uh, brokers solutions so tutakuja kupata uh, na kupitia hapa ndo tunakuja kupata informations about how brokers operate so data brokers risk models data brokers uh, risk models kwamba every broker anapokuwa anaingia kwenye uh, kwenye kutengeneza brokerage firm actually ana kuwa anaweka risk ya pesa yake so keeping money at risk ko anakuwa anachagua which kind of risk anaweza kaihitaji so anakuwa na risk yake ambayo anakuwa na ana prefer so having that the way broker ana create risk yake it has influence to the trader. Trader na yeye tena kwa upande wake kwa sababu na yeye pia anaweka money katika risk. Kwa na yeye pia anakuwa na nini? Na na kuna kuwa na impact na ile risk model ambayo broker ameitumia. Kwa broker mwingine anaweza kutengeneza ile risk model ambayo inamlinda yeye alafu then effect kubwa iko kwa trader. Lakini sometime mwingine anaweza kabalance kwamba risk kwa trader inakuwa iko ndogo sana. So this is very valuable thing when you are choosing a broker. Now ndio huko tunakuja kuona mtu anaku recommend use this broker we know no kwamba oh this one and recommend this broker kwa sababu yuko ana pata part fulani kuwa broker and other things but no we usually recommend the brokers ambao wako wako tunasema wako na good trading conditions wako na trading conditions ambazo hazitaweza kuku ku, ku affect actually so now let us consider the issues on brokers risk models katika brokers risk models actually nitakuwa tuna jaribu ku present those things and uh, when necessary I'll go to whiteboard um katika brokers risk models the straightforward the concept here is tunaingia kwenye well, yes most of people will understand me kama nitaongelea the issues on a book and b book brokers books brokers books kwa sababu ni wasema brokers risk models wengine wanaweza sijue lakini mainly brokers risk models ndo zinakuwa some use a book model 
and others use B book models. Lakini like, tukijua kuna kuna wengine wanatumia hybrid. And mapapo, most of the brokers actually they are using hybrid. Wanatumia the A book pamoja na B book kwa wakati mmoja. Sasa tukijua kuna if a broker is using A book what's the advantages what are the risk na or oh, disadvantages or oh, the, the 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 drawdowns lakini pia kama broker anatumia bibu tutaangalia pia lakini broker anaitumia hybrid pia ufanye kitu gani now we are going to cover those things today so keep in touch and make sure you subscribe this channel and after you turn on notifications una click the thumb up button kuweza ku like uh, ile content ambayo inakuwa presented and after you remember you can share the content and also oh we have many things to do with this but tutakuna endea kufanya mdogo mdogo as time goes kuweka na vitu kama comment you will be doing them so now let's go to the issues on brokers risk models lakini uh, if you need to 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 cover those concepts na yes i, I want to, to forget this kama unataka ku, ku cover those concepts about risk models and basically kama unataka kuanzisha a brokerage firm kwa sababu you may have an idea about kuanzisha a brokerage firm you need to be a broker kama nataka kuwa broker everyone can have a, can be a broker can have a brokerage firm kwa kama nataka kuwa broker now you can use this match trade technologies match trade technologies hawa watakuwezesha ku create brokerage firm vitu vyote softwares ambazo tutatumia katika ku run brokerage firm watakuguide katika atakuja kuangalia hii session inakuwa ni kama part 1 lakini we will have uh, the second part kuna kino kitu mara, mara nyingi watu tunaangalia regulation broker amekuwa regulated au hajawa regulated kwa utakuja kuona pia watakusaidia kwenye uh, kwenye hizo registrations kwenye regulations ambapo tutakuja kukava kwenye second part to concentrate kwa brokers kwenye regulations tutaona wale wako not regulated wako semi regulated na wale regulated we have three types of brokers based on regulation lakini Yeah 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 we'll come on the second part now let's straight to our today's concept uh, which is the issues on brokers risk models brokers risk models this is our today's concept and nataka tu kuiweka brief wiki kuiweka brief utasoma vitu vyote utasoma strategy and other things but if you don't know about the issues on how brokers operate ita itaenda kuku affect tukuje kuona bado winning haiwezi kuwa ile kwa now mainly we have two types of forex brokers we can put it like that tunazo two types of forex brokers or forex risk models kwa kwa haraka tu au kwa straight forward way naweka kama types of brokers mimi naweka hivyo types of types of brokers i put it like that types of brokers or forex brokers mainly kwa sababu i'm talking about the forex kwa sababu uh, forex haiko kama stock ambapo principles of stock ziko very tight actually eh broker kwenye stock actually mpaka na kwa broker actually has got all um, uh, the regulatory conditions zinakuwa zimemet lakini kwenye forex actually we have those unregulated brokers na wana operate na it's not a problem kama broker na kwa ni unregulated so kwamba ndio ni shida kubwa hapa it depends on the conditions of the country to which a broker is operating kuna country ambazo hazihitaji kabisa broker we regulated lakini it is good to work with regulated brokers so we have types of brokers are uh, based on risk models tunaangalia based on this one the risk models at which brokers may may operate so we have the first type we call them as a book we have those who, now oh how i have written this so this let me clear this so now we have the first type we call it as a book broker tunaita kama a book model tunaita kama a book model ambao hatuita ni a book broker yani ni broker unaotumia an a book wow cooperate kwao wanatumia an a book i'm going to dig this deep i'm going to dig this deep and it will be deep and deep and deep and deep kuweza ku understand unavosema the a book ni wapi broker na tenza hela ni wapi anapoteza ni wapi na wewe unapoteza hela ni wapi na wewe unatengeneza i'm going to dig deep and deeper from uh, those ideas lakini now the second type is the b book brokers the b book brokers how are wao naita wanatumia the b book model the bibook brokers wao wanatumia the bibook models. Kwa those are the major categories lakini as time goes tutakuja kuona we have those hybrid. Baadaye now when I put this here lakini tutakuja ku understand. Hybrid hybrid model, hybrid model, hybrid model ni yule ame mix zote mbili, amechanganya, anatumia bibook na na a book. Maana those books is where traders are registered. Huko ndiko traders wanakuwa registered. Yaani I mean those trades 
yani A book and B book hizo ndo ni sema ambazo trades tra, trades na kwa registered pale au unapokuwa na place trade kwa unaweza place trade ikapelekwa kwenye A book ka place trade inaenda kwenye B book lakini na depende sometimes broker anaweza kuwa purely ni A book lakini pia broker anaweza kuwa purely ni B book akiwa hybrid ndo atagawanya some traders in the A book other traders in the B book kwa as time goes nitakuja kugusia nani anaenda kwenye A book nani anaenda kwenye B book na ukiwa B book ukiwa A book e, risk yako iko vipi kwa sababu those are the brokers risk models broker maker risk yake vile market zikaje kawa ina affect sana kwako au ina affect uh, kwa broker kwa now we will see the things as time goes go keep in touch sasa now uh, let's start with the A book brokers let's start with the A book the A book brokers now what are the A book brokers ni nani hawa na wana operate vipi kwa now A book brokers nafikiri mara nyingi sana unaweza kuta unaingia kwenye internet unaingia kwenye mtandao na search au unakuja kuona categorization ya brokers some brokers they are known as uh, maybe uh, now they call them as ECN brokers kuna mtu ah use ECN broker unaweza kujua what is ECN broker ECN broker huyu anakuwa ni nani ni, ni broker namna gani kwa hiyo A book broker broker anaitumia A book ndo sometimes tunam categorize as an ECN broker anaweza kaita kama electronic communication network au tunamita kama uh, the electronic electronic communication a uh, communication network electronic communication a uh, communication uh, network so, uh, that's what to call the ECN broker ambaye yeye ana 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 register wale traders wake kwa kutumia the A book hiyo naita the A book lakini like, it's not all about that sometimes kuna mwingine anaweza kusema ah au yes unasoma kwenye um, kwenye nini tunaita labda ni ni ni, ni, ni home page ya broker broker anaeleza kwamba we are using sometimes broker mwingine anasema we are using uh, the 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 stp type or the ecn type sometimes kuna hii tunaita the stp 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 broker stp broker stp broker ni huyo huyo a book broker stp this stands for the straight through process this is stands for a uh, straight through process this is the straight a uh, straight through straight through process straight through process i will describe those things in detail kwa sababu um nasema the electronic communication the straight through process lakini pia bado we have this called the ndd bado ni huyo huyo we have this called the ndd bado ni huyo huyo a book yani nataka nikuonyeshe a book ni nani yani kuna wakati tunakuta broker anajitambulisha kwamba yeye yuko wa type gani yuko wa ecn au yuko scp au yuko ndd sasa huyo yeye anatumia risk model gani yani yeye katika risk ya hela yake ana risk katika model gani ndo anatumia the a book kama akisema yeye ni ECN ni STP au ni NDD kwa now NDD this is the non dealing desk huyo anaita kama the non non dealing this is the non dealing desk huyo anaita kama the non dealing desk kwa kuna broker anajitambulisha we are non dealing desk brokers we are non dealing desk broker sasa utujiulize non dealing desk anafanya nini sasa most of traders unaenda blindly in the market actually ukiona broker it is just a broker umeona flana anatumia a broker you go into that broker you take that broker you register yourself bila kujua kwamba which model broker na operate sasa now haya ni ni majina mbalimbali ambayo ambayo a book brokers huwa anajiita lakini sasa now risk model ni namna gani ye ana operate huyo broker ambaye ni ECN ni STP au ni NDD ingaje we will dig this we will dig this deep this the issues on STP remember this one kwenye STP we will dig it deeper kuweza ku understand kwa sababu tutakuja kuona STP yuko anaweza kuwa pia katika 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 namna nyingine pia katika namna nyingine tofauti we will understand the STP lakini hao wengine i mean other names actually they remain the same electronic communications the non dealing actually will be the same hata straight forward actually stay like that ila tukija kuona kuna ya yeah, deviation fulani waka natokea lakini now how this a book an operate ni ni vipi a book an operate mainly tunasema uh, this type of broker ana yeye yani ndo tunasema the real meaning ya broker yani the word broker utu mita kama eh, sometimes ah, wakala yes we call it as uh, i mean i don't know tunaita kama dalali no it is not wakala it is dalali actually yani yeye ana stand between the market and you yeye yuko between market and you kwa yule real broker maana halisi ya broker iko kwenye a book kwenye a book ndo kuna maana halisi ya ya broker yeye yuko between yani yes huku kuna kwa kuna trader 
hapa katikati kuna kuwa kuna broker hapa kuna kuwa kuna broker alafu mwisho kuna kuwa kuna uh, we can call it as a market in general or anything else yeah na ku link with the market now i can put this as a market lakini kikubwa ni kwamba huku kuna kuwa na liquidity providers huku kuna kuwa na liquidity providers liquidity pool yes i can put this as liquidity pool kuna kuwa kuna liquidity pool yani the market yes i can call this as a market lakini ndio ile liquidity pool kwa hiyo now yeye yuko between the a book ni broker ambaye yeye yuko yuko between kwa the way an of operate an of operate ni kwamba yeye ana pass your orders directly to the liquidity pool yeye manake uki wewe trader uki place trade yeye broker yuko katikati ana ku link with liquidity provider kwa now nimeongelea the issues on um, um, match trade uh, technologies kwamba wanakusaidia katika ku register kama nataka kuwa broker you will visit that site tukoje kuona wao wataku link pia na liquidity provider kwamba maybe a big bank somewhere kwamba ile ndio itakuwa na provide liquidity kwa we trader akileta aki trade kwako uh, as a broker broker anaipitisha straight to the to the market ambako kwa wale liquidity providers we see liquidity providers wako wa aina tofauti tofauti na ongelea the issues let's dig this deeper let's go deeper kwenye liquidity provider wako wa aina tofauti kwa every broker can have its own type of liquidity provider kuna wengi wanatumia labda big banks kuna wengi wengi wanatumia uh, wanatumia big banks lakini kuna wengine <laughs> kuna broker wengine sasa a uh, broker i think itaendelea uh, okay, yes you will read those things later on now takaba kwenye second part kuna vitu vitu kama blue label sio vitu gani white label and other things tutakuja kuona sometimes liquidity provider anaweza kuwa ni other broker yani eh kuna broker mwingine yeye anakuwa tena anakuwa tena ndo liquidity provider sasa nitafafanua sasa ni kwa namna gani uh, the issues on tra- uh, trader broker na ma- uh, market or liquidity provider sasa ni kitu gani kina happen pale i will i will explain na hapa ndo utajua kwamba where do you usually make your money na where do you usually your money goes when you lose wapi yes elako inaenda ukipoteza kwa now we have other brokers sometimes acting acting as liquidity providers lakini pia we have other type of liquidity provider ambayo inaweza kuwa ni other clients he eh? other clients eh do you see tumesema this is liquidity pool liquidity pool eh? Eh, eh, pool ni kama nani fulani iko pale iko na kila kitu eh kwa hii ikija inakuta hapa kwenda hii ikija kwa uki place buy order inaona inaona, inaona hapa kwenda uki place sell order inaona hapa kwenda this is liquidity liquidity pool sasa now these are some of the major Uh, the major the major liquidity provider lakini kuna hedge funds na vitu gani you recover those things i don't, I don't like to go very deep maana kitu spend muda mwingi tukiongelea tukiongelea the, those uh, very mm, very simple things lakini ujue liquidity provider ni how lakini sasa now now broker yeye ako pale anafanya kitu gani alafu then wewe utapata wapi pesa wewe utaluzi wapi pesa kwa now mainly tunasema this liquidity providers they act as your counterpart now remember this remember this these are your counterparts you are counter your counterparts sasa ah ni vigumu sana kuweka those things in swahili yani kila kitu ika in swahili actually inakuwa kidogo ngumu sana that's why i'm mixing things ili ili angalau niweze ku balance na vitu your counterpart yani nikisema your counterpart ni yule yuko against na wewe. Eh your counterpart is someone who is against you. Kwa hiyo tukisema liquidity provider is your counterpart kwa maana ya kwamba if a liquidity provider is your counterpart hii na maana kwamba if you provide uh, if you provide a, a buy order. If you provide a buy order. If you provide a buy order, you are a trader right here. You are a trader right here. Your broker is in the mid and then you have the liquidity provider. If you place a buy order manake broker anaipitisha buy order yako kwenye pair flan anaipitisha buy order yako moja kwa moja kwa liquidity provider kwa liquidity providers will be selling to you mbona kinaenda ndio tunaposema the counterpart kwa maana hiyo kwamba when you place a buy order liquidity provider they will be selling to you wanakuuzia wewe and when you place a sell order liquidity providers will be buying to you ndio hapo mtu anajiuliza tunapataga wapi wateja kwenye foreign exchange tunauza kwa nani unanunua kwa nani kwa in uh, in a book model tukiwa kwenye a book model utakuwa unauza au unanunua 
kwa liquidity provider that's all yani ndio mechanism mzima iko iko pale yani ndio mchakato mzima wa a book uko pale lakini now how things goes usually broker hawezi ku stay in between kwa sababu na yeye anafanya this as a business lazima na yeye pia awe anatengeneza pesa kwa now where broker will make money <laughs> broker atatoa wapi hela yake hapo atapata wapi hela mainly broker will, will profit from Uh, it depends maybe it can be commission or, or spread kwa a broker will profit from commissions ina depend na yeye ameamua kutumia mfumo gani actually anaweza ku profit kupitia commission au anaweza ku profit kupitia spreads kwa now we have that's why utakuja kuona kuna brokers wana account tofauti kuna account iko na spread kuna account yenyewe imeishia tu kwa na commission there's no spread actually zero uh, zero spread kwa Yes it will be like that lakini ye broker akiwa pale kati maana ke mfano tunavosema ana profit kwa commission commission inakuwa charged pa round trip of the so call a round trip round trip maana ke when you take a trade unapo press a trade kuna kiasi kinachukuliwa labda naweza kusema commission yetu iko labda kwa euro usd labda ni 4 usd maybe pa min lot or anything else wana clarify everything to their sites wanaeleza kila kitu brokers kwa naweza kusema maybe ni 4 Uh, ni 4 USD kama ni 4 US maana ke inaizikawa now it is now itakuwa ni 2 US when you press a trade and then 2 US when you get out of the trade unapoingia kwenye trade anachukua 2 US unapotoka anachukua hiyo ndo naita round trip round trip that is lakini tukija kwenye spread spread tunaongelea the gap a gap between ask and uh, buy the price ile price ya kuuzia na price ya kununulia inakuwa na gap uh, yes let me go somehow deep to this ni kwamba broker broker yuko pale anakuunganisha na liquidity provider liquidity providers wao wao ndo ni kama wanatoa bei if you are selling this you will sell at this price if you are buying this you will buy at this price wanatoa liquidity providers sasa liquidity provider akitoa hicho kitu broker yeye anapokuletea wewe kwamba now you can buy euro usd at this price broker anapokuletea wewe ile bei ambayo unaiona kwenye MT4 kwamba you can buy euro usd at this price manake yeye anaweka a markup na we can put this markup eh hey, you don't have hata in Swahili i don't know how you can put this eh kanini ka markup ka additional anaweka kadude cha ziada pale juu a markup kama amepewa price yake uh, kama amepewa price yake is anything sasa now maybe 1. Point, uh, maybe 400 uh, anything else kwa currency fund maybe this is uh, uh, this is maybe a uh, sell price kama hii ni sell price kwa now kama hii ndio price ya ku sell wewe utakapokuwa una sell anaweka markup au utakapokuwa una buy anaweka markup yani kwa hii ndio imekuwa imetolewa na liquidity provider hii imetolewa na liquidity provider kwa yeye utakapokuwa una buy anakuongezea ki price utanunua kwa ki price ambacho labda kuna ki point kimeongezeka hapa kama hapa ni 000 utakuta labda wewe utanunua kwa 1 point maybe 0 uh, maybe 4 00 labda 1 anything else ina depend now lakini pia kama utasell ana change those conditions ana itakuwa na it's not for again utakuta kama unakuja kusell hapa inakuwa labda inakuwa sasa amekuwekea katika 3 katika 3 Uh, maybe 99 anything else kuna ka point ko hapo ndo ina depend na ile speed yake iko ni ngapi inaweza kuwa ni speed ya mbili speed ya moja au anything else ina depend au 0. Point something in it oh na, na imani vitu mnavijua so haya sasa hivyo ndivyo broker atakuwa anafanya aje anatengeneza pesa yake yani hapo tunaona the way broker atatengeneza pesa uh, na the way we pia utatengeneza pesa kwa now wewe utatengeneza pesa when uh, when you Uh, I mean when, when liquidity providers are losing yani wewe ukitengeneza pesa maana ile pesa liquidity provider kaipoteza kwake it is lost to liquidity provider lakini when you lose money maana liquidity provider wao ndo wana make money sasa so, tumesema liquidity providers let me describe in short kwamba ni big banks ni other brokers or other clients kwamba kuna baadhi ya brokers ambao wao wanatengeneza liquidity pool maana traders wote wanawaregister anayeuza na anayenunua wanakuwa registered somewhere kwa wakiwa registered wale anaye place buy order atakuwa ananunua kwa mwenzake na atakuwa anauziwa na mwenzake anayekuwa na place sell order anakuwa anauza kwa mwenzake kwa now sometimes unasema other clients maana wao wanawatengenezeni conflict of interest by yourself 
wanawatengenezeni conflict of interest wenyewe kwenye kwenyewe yani traders kwa traders kwa yeah sometimes it's uh, it's like that lakini kuna hii ya other brokers hii itakuwa inaenda like to the big book lakini haiwe hai straight to the big book to the big book wakati broker atakuwa anafanya yeye mwenyewe atakuwa ni counterpart lakini kwenye other brokers yeye broker ame stand yani yeye broker ame stand in between lakini wako broker wengine ambao wale broker ni the mm brokers the market maker brokers we will describe them in the big book market maker kwa yeye anapitisha order zako zinaenda kwa wale market makers zinaenda kwa market maker wao market maker ndo wanakuwa kama liquidity providers kwa now this is how they operate ndivyo ambavyo a book wana operate utatengeneza pesa kutoka kwa liquidity provider ila broker wako yeye hana conflict of interest na wewe yani u trade naye your broker is not your counterpart in the a book your broker is not your counterpart kwa hiyo actually iko in that way so now What's the, what are the benefits ya who you broker the benefits naweza kusema hivyo we can put this benefits benefits of a book model kwamba broker anapotumia the a book model sasa benefits actually unaweza consider maybe kwa upande wa broker mwenyewe au unaweza consider benefit kwa upande wa trader in any way lakini mainly i'm describing this very general yani iko very general either you want to open your brokerage firm au wewe ni trader actually I'll put this uh, put all of those information right here na weka ile kila moja ajue kwa now mfano kwa upande wa broker kwa broker it is the safe a safe model benefit moja hapo a book a book benefits of a book a book model a uh, benefits of a book model actually it is safe to brokers safe to brokers kwa brokers hii imekuwa salama zaidi actually wako very safe kwa nini wako safe kwa sababu wao hawaweki katika riski pesa yao either you lose or win yeye atatengeneza pesa a broker make money when you lose or you win yani kwa sababu wewe utakuwa unapambana na yani counterpart wako ni mwingine yeye amekaa kama link kwa yeye ukipoteza au kina nini yeye anatengeneza hela kwa it is not too risk kwa broker risk yake ni ndogo risk yote anaipitisha kwenda kule kwa uh, kwa liquidity provider risk yake kubwa anaipitisha kwenda kwa liquidity provider yeye yeah, anabakia kuwa na risk ndogo kwa upande wa broker is like that lakini kwa upande labda tu wa traders a book uh, in a book there is no manipulation <laughs> there is no uh, there is no market uh, there is no market manipulation manipulation Ah tunapoongelea market manipulation yani market manipulation kuna wakati ile price inafanya kitu ambacho yani ina deviate from the principles ambazo zikuwa ziko common. Ndio unaona kuna wakati kuna market ina move direction fulani afa kuja kutengeneza wicks. Those very strong weak rejections as in inaitani kama manipulations yani nakuta wanaziwinda zile stops zile stop losses eh wanaziwinda zile stop losses those are what call the manipulations so in a book there is no manipulation broker ye yuko yuko friendly kabisa na wewe kwa broker do not manipulate the market even if about the a book inaenda lakini now what are the downside what are the downsides or the drawbacks or anything else yani kama hasala za uh, a book a book inakuwa na hasala gani Uh, a book one of the down uh, the downside is a book wa inakuwa na wide spread during of market wide spread kikubwa kile tunaogopa ukitakachokuwa kibaya ni wide spread during of market wide spread uh, uh, wide spread during uh, during off off market off market ni wakati ule uh, sessions ziko cool yani uh, kwa zile sessions ambazo ziko cool labda uh, most of the the market centers zinakuwa zime close kwao nakuja kuona zile zinaita kama off market kwao pale ni pale ambapo nasema uh, uh, tunasema volatility ya market iko chini kwao market inapokuja kuwa less volatile ndipo ambapo tunasema kwa wale broker wanao provide spreads spread huwa zina zina widen kwa hiyo hiyo ni hasara moja hapo kama tutumia the a book broker ambaye ye mengi ana, anachukua anafanya spreads kwao kuna wengine anafanya spread lakini pia anafanya na commission at the same time kwao Yeah, something like that. Yaani hiyo ndio hasara moja hapo ambapo sasa kukiwa speed is widen it's not just widening of the speed ndio tukasema it's all about that. Lakini kikubwa ziki widen speed nini huwa kina happen ndio kuna wakati ambao uh, maybe structure market is like this uh, stop loss is right there. 
utakuja kuona price tuna expect in move mpaka ifike that area kuku stop out hapa palikuwa pana stop loss hapa palikuwa na stop loss tunategemea price ishuke mpaka hit that area ili kuweza kuku stop out lakini spread ikiwa wide price inaweza ka move ikakaribia to that area ikarudi unakuja kuona haijafika eneo ambalo liweka stop loss lakini imekutoa out kwa sababu ile mark Makap ambayo ilikuwa added ilikuwa ni kubwa. Makap ambayo ilikuwa added ilikuwa ni kubwa ndio hiyo tunasema ni wide spread. Kwa hasara yake ni hiyo kuna kuna unatolewa out of the trade kabla hata price haijafika kwenye ile exact uh, uh, kabla hata market haijafika kwenye ile exact price ambayo ulikuwa uh, uliku umeiweka. Lakini yani kukuwa na wide spread kitumia kibaya kuna kwa tuna nini? Um, yani ile unapo execute trade. There's no best or exact uh, execution price yani yani uwezo ka press trade yani hapa nafikiri kwa wale ambao wamesha trade wanajua kwamba kuna wakati una press trade unaweza kukuta haijafunguka on time inaenda kufunguka later kidogo kwa yani kama muda fulani kanaachelewa ambapo mwisho wa siku utakuja kuona kama ilikuwa inaenda kwenye negative itakuja kufunguka ikikusomea negative ikiwa ni kubwa sana kwa haija execute exactly katika ile price au sometimes yani ina move kwenye direction fulani ume press order ina delay ku open mpaka market na kuacha kiasi fulani unakuja kuingia wakati ambao market imeshasongea kwenye direction fulani so how part that um, exact execution price ambayo ulikuwa unategemea lakini the downside nyingine ile uh, fail of execution of trade kwenye high volatility mfano muda wa news fail of execution mfano muda wa news broker ambaye anatumia a book broker anayetumia a book wakati wa news kuna wakati order huwa zifunguke yani unakuta kwa wale ambao wana trade fundamentals actually maybe they know this yani inaweza kufunguka lakini isiwe katika conditions ambazo huwa inafunguka kukiwa kawaida kwa you can experience that kama unafanya news kwa broker ambaye yeye yuko kwenye a book utakuja kuona kwa nini isiende sawa sawa wakati wa news kwa sababu when news takes place wale liquidity providers liquidity providers wanakuwa wanaogopa kwa sababu when the market is high volatile volatility inapokuwa ni kubwa risk nayo inakuwa ni kubwa kwa yani wengi uh, liquidity provider wanakuwa naogopa kupoteza kwa during news unakuta banks as trade labda hedge funds hawajihusishi muda huo wa news wanaojihusisha ni wachache sana kwa you will find that uh, kama natumia the a book manake muda wa news inakuwa ni vigumu sana ku trade kwa utakuja kuona baadaye sasa utapata suggestions kwamba ni broker gani wewe unaweza uh, unaweza kumtumia kwa now uh, mainly yes hizo kwa upande wa trader lakini uh, drawback nyingine kwa upande wa broker kwa upande wa broker akitumia a book broker akitumia a book it is the slow and low profit to brokers inakuwa iko ni polepole pole sana it is the slow and low yani low profits yani broker yeye atakuwa anatengeneza profit yani polepole pole, afu profit ndogo kwa sababu yeye anazopata ni zile markup eh anazozipata yeye ni zile markup vile vi vi value vya price anavyoongeza kwenye ile price wanayotoa wale liquidity provider ndo viki na viongezeka vile ndo profit yake. Hakuna sehemu nyingine anakotengeneza pesa. Kwa sasa mwisho wa siku kwa broker hii inakuwa ni iko very slow. Kwa hiyo kama nataka kuanzisha brokerage film, utaangalia wewe unataka ku profit haraka au ku profit pole pole, kwa utachagua which model you need uh, you will operate with. Kwa now those are some things about the A book. Even though baadhi ya vitu ambavyo ni very very important, very crucial to know kwenye A book. Yaani unapokuna deal na A book kuna vitu ambavyo inabidi vijue ndio hivyo ni baadhi ya vitu ambavyo vinakuwa ni very uh, ni very 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 va- valuable. Hai. Sasa now kwa hiyo tutakuja kuona sasa baadaye tutakuwa tuna bibu ku brokers, tutakuja kuona baadaye tutakuwa tuna bibu ku brokers ambayo ni kategori nyingine. As I have said kwamba uh, risk models za brokers ziko mbili, kwa hiyo we have we have completed with the A book ambapo tumeona uzuri wake na ubaya wake na vitu vingine vyote lakini sio ubaya actually those are like the shortcomings ni vitu vidogo sana mapungufu tu machache lakini doesn't mean kwamba a book anakuwa ni ana ubaya fulani ha haiko that way so now we are through with that i want to take you to the b book i want to take you direct to the b book broker nataka uh, nataka tuone the b book broker the way how they operate Alafu sehemu ya mwisho sasa so not only knowing the big book sehemu ya mwisho nitataka tuone uh, the best broker between a book and b book 
nani umtumie kwa sababu yani hiyo ndio inakuja kwa point ya msingi kwamba i need to start trading yani wengi tu wanajiuliza nataka nitafute uh, broker mzuri uh, which broker the best lakini if the best in which conditions lazima uwe na criteria za wewe kuweza kumjaji broker kwamba this is the best broker or is not is not the best uh, best broker kwa lazima uwe na na vigezo ambavyo unamjaji broker kwa now let's see the second model that is the b book let us see the b book uh, the b book broker let us see the b book brokers b book brokers in model nyingine ambayo broker wana operate kwa now b book sometimes unaita kama the dealing desk the dealing desk kwa kuna wakati tuzukaambiwa oh au now au broker anakuambia we are dealing desk brokers we are dealing desk brokers sasa ukisema akisema we are dealing desk brokers lazima uelewe kwamba those dealing desk wao wana operate katika model gani kwa dealing desk wao wanatumia the bibo lakini tulisema the nani dealing wao wanatumia the a the a book lakini now those dealing desk dealing desk kuna mwingine anaweza kuwa hajaisikia the dealing desk lakini ashawaisikia we have those brokers who call them as market makers we have those brokers who call uh, uh, market makers we have those brokers who call them as market makers the mm brokers naita kama mm brokers sasa now the mm brokers um sometimes we call them as a dealing desk manake ni model nyingine ambayo brokers uh, huwa wana operate ambapo now their mode of operation those market maker and dealing desk their mode of operation is they actually wanna process they process those orders in house <laughs> yani i don't know yani tunaposema kwamba tunaposema kwamba they they tunaposema kwamba they process their orders in house manake um tunasema in a straight way tunasema a broker is your counterpart yes let me put it this way tunasema broker is your your counter your counterpart ninavyosema broker is your counter your counterpart uh, ninavyosema broker is your counterpart manake you are, you are trading against the broker yani hapa ni moja kwa moja una trade na broker when you place maybe a buy order when you place a buy order straight forward a broker uh, hapa tuna broker straight forward a broker will be selling to you hii ndo nasema your broker is a counterpart. Kwa when you buy broker will be selling to you. When you sell broker will be buying to you straight. Maana ke broker hapeleki kwenye liquidity provider. Yeye anabakia tu kama ndo liquidity provider. Yeye mwenyewe moja kwa moja. That's why tunamuita kama market maker. Yeye mwenyewe ndo anakuwa ni liquidity liquidity providers. Kwa yeye ana trade against you. Kwa now mainly tunasema uh, when broker is trading against uh, against you tunasema kuna kuwa na conflict of interest eh? conflict of interest kwamba sasa yani kwamba lazima kwa sababu yeye anavyo trade ha trade kwa maana kwamba it is just uh, kujifurahisha ana trade against you kujifurahisha hapana ana trade against you ili na yeye atengeneze pesa maana ili na yeye atengeneze pesa that's why nasema kuna kuwa na conflict of interest kwa sababu kila mmoja anataka ku profit everyone wants to profit kwa na ukinachotokea in a straight forward kinachotokea in a straight forward tunasema brokers profit <laughs> in a straight forward tunasema brokers profit brokers profit is equal to traders loss is equal to traders traders loss profit ya broker ni sawa sana loss ya trader yani ukipoteza 100 US straight forward broker ametengeneza 100 US uki win 100 US straight forward broker me lose 100 US yani hii inakuwa iko straight forward yani uh, inakuwa ni 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 man to man actually we can call this uh, we, call, we can call it like that yani ni hivyo haina kona haina nini iko very straight wewe na broker it is you with the broker mko straight pale mna mna fight na na na, na broker so uh now 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 uh now now, now. so now Uh, let's keep on looking on the benefits and the downsides uh, or drawdown of the uh, the bibuku broker kwamba wao wanakuwa na faida ipi kwa upande wao lakini kwa pia faida kwa upande wa trader unapokuwa unachagua broker pia kama trader uweze kujua kwamba okay nikitumia bibuku naweza kuwa na advantage ipi kwa hiyo now mainly advantage kubwa na kwa upande wa trader ni wanatoa fixed speeds <laughs> advantage kubwa niyo 
kuwa na zile fixed speed fixed speeds kwamba most of them speed zao zinabaki kuwa constant either kuwe na news au kuwe na nini kwa bibu kuwa wanatoa fixed speeds lakini uh, tukiwa kule kwenye a book wao speed zao zinakuwa floating tunaita floating speeds eh kuna zile speed ambazo zinatani floating kwamba kuna wakati na expand kuna wakati na kwa tight kwa floating speeds ni a book lakini b book most, mostly wanakuwa na uh, wanakuwa na fixed speed hiyo ni very advantages kwa trader ambapo unaweza trade hata wakati ile market iko less liquid eh market liquidity yake iko iko down pia utakuwa na uwezo wa uh, wa kutrade kwa kutumia uh, kwa kupitia the the the, the, the na uh, the, the bbook broker lakini ukiwa una trade na bbook eh, the broker yeye anakuwa ni ni market maker au yeye anakuwa ni ni counterparty wako pia yani i mean yani kwa sababu yeye ndo ana provide ile tunasema uki win yeye yeah, amelusi ukifanyaje kwa, kwa sababu yeye ndo market maker au tunasema yeye ndo liquidity provider advantage nao kwa ni kwamba utakuwa na uwezo wa kutrade hata kama wakati ni wa wa high volatility market eh unaweza ka trade hata wakati wa news umeona hapa utakuwa na advantage ya kwamba hata muda wa news unakuwa na uwezo wa ku trade kwa sababu tuliona kwenye a book wakati wa news wale brokers wanaweza wasi uh, wasiwe i mean, wa, I mean liquidity providers wanaweza wasiwe active wakawa wana provide zile price kwa hiyo unakuta uh, wakati wa news uwezo ka trade mara nyingi na trade kwa shida sana na a book lakini kuna trade na bibu kwa actually hata kama kuna news actually can go straight with the market to trade vizuri kabisa kwa leo na trade fundamentals actually uh, watakuwa na wanaelewa wakati wa news ni kitu gani huwa kina happen lakini the downside uh, the downside downside manake the drawback uh, downside tunaangalia the drawback kwamba zile mapungufu ni yapi uh, kwenye mapungufu ya bibu mimi nitakuja kuona tu ile broker anaweza kuwa na kuna kitu anakifanya anaangalia tunasema a broker will take advantage of advantage of your history kuna kitu kama hicho kinakuepo anachukua advantage of your history kwa maana ya kwamba broker anaweza kuangalia huyo trader anakuwa mara nyingi sana ana lose unakuja kuona huyo trader labda mara nyingi sana huwa ana lose kwa history yako imekaa hivyo mara nyingi una lose na vitu gani au katika traders uh, history anaweza kuangalia patterns ambazo unazitumia wa wow, kuna pateni fulani unafanya hiki kitu kwa hiyo yeye yeah, atakwenda against na vile vitu ambavyo we usually wewe unavifanya kwa tunasema ana take advantage of your history or advantage of your of your trading patterns kwa hiyo ni kitu ambayo uh, inaweza kuwa ni drawback ya kutumia kutumia bibu kwa anakuwa anakufuatilia kwa sababu yeye ndo ana trade kinyume na wewe kwa anakufuatilia kwamba okay kukiwa hivi huyu huwa anafanya anachukua action gani kwa hiyo yeye yeah, anachukua action ambayo inakuwa against na Uh, ina kwa against na wewe mpaka unakuna una, una, uh, una lose lakini pia hapo kutakuwa kuna kitu kingine ambacho ndo nakuta kilikuwa hakipo kwenye a book ni manipulation of the market downside nyingine ni manipulation watakuwa wana manipulate unakuja kuona unakuwa stop doubt alafu price inaenda kwenye direction yako yani hukume place order yako price imeenda imeenda imefiki no stop out imetengeneza zile weak, weak rejections alafu then imeendelea kwenye direction kwa hiyo ni drawback ambayo naita kama manipulation of the market ambayo pia inaonekana mara nyingi sana b book wa wana wa wanaitumia kwa we are through with the a book we are through with the b book tunatakiwa tujue vitu viwili vilivyobakia let's know uh, about the issues on uh, let's know about the issues on hybrid model alafu pia tujue which broker you supposed to use tuone hybrid model lakini pia tujue ni broker yupi ambaye utatakiwa kumtumia unapokuwa una, uh, unafanya decisions za kumchagua broker. Kwa now shortly kwenye hybrid. Hybrid model, hybrid model. Hybrid model ni pale ambapo broker amechanganya. Broker ana, ana, anatumia vitabu vyote, anatumia the A book na B book. Kwa maana yeye wale traders wanaporegister trades zao kuna some traders zipeleka kwenye a book kuna some traders zipeleka kwenye b book kwa utakuja kuona conditions ni kwa ni trade zipi kwa nini anazipeleka kwenye a book na ni trade zipi na anazipeleka kwenye b book kwa now hapo tutasema broker use both broker use both books anakuwa anatumia vitabu vyote viwili uh, ku register zile trades lakini pia katika kufanya hybrid ili iwe successful Usually brokers use dedicated software. Brokers use dedicated 
dedicated software anakuwa na software ambayo we call it as dedicated or anything else like it's how we pronounce how we call it kikubwa ni kwamba ni software ambayo itakuwa na uwezo wa kuwagawanya traders a dedicated software is a software that's able to uh, to divide traders ina uwezo wa automatically kuwagawanya traders kwamba huyu trader aende wapi huyu trader aende wapi yanaende wapi in terms of books eh kwamba unaporegister trade yako iende kwenye A book au iende kwenye B book kwa maana yake hiyo ndio nasema dedicated software ndio itakuwa na uwezo wa kutambua hicho lakini anaisetia condition ile dedicated software ili iweze kukupeleka kwenye A book au kwenye B book kuna conditions ana set labda based on things like based on things like deposit based on things like deposit umeweka amount ngapi kwenye account yako unaweza kukuta unapelekwa kwenye book flan lakini pia based on leverage based on leverage leverage ambayo unaitumia pia inaweza kupelekea broker kupeleke kwenye aina gani ya kitabu kwa hybrid model is used by most of brokers wengi sana watakuwa na hybrid model kwa wanakuwa na distribute uh, those traders lakini pia use of stops anaangalia katika historia yako use of use of stops au katika trades zako unatumia ga stop loss au huweka ga stop loss kwa hiyo unaweza kujua kwamba huyu tunaweza tukaenda naye au tukaenda naye kwa mtindo gani lakini pia katika eh, yes lakini kiujumla sasa katika kwa divide our traders let, let me describe those those, uh, those few points hapa bila ku, ku, kuendelea na nyingine nyingi kwamba mfano tutakapoongelea deposit mainly kwa broker ambaye ni hybrid atakuwa na A book lakini pia ana B book kinachofanyika based on deposit wale ambao wana deposit ndogo ndogo yani wale ambao deposits zao ni ndogo ndogo mtu ameweka dola kumi, dola tano, kuna broker anaruhusu hadi kuweka dola moja <laughs> what is dola moja kwenye market half trader na yeye ameingia kwenye market anataka ku profit kutengeneza millions and millions kwa kutoka na ile dola moja kwa lakini mara nyingi sasa ukiweka dola moja ameweka dola kumi, si dola ngapi moja kwa moja broker anakupeleka kwenye able umeona ukiweka hizo I mean now mainly not, not, not the A book kama umeweka small deposit no na forget this kama umeweka small deposit unapoweka deposit yako inakuwa ndogo moja kwa moja broker anakupeleka uka trade naye <laughs> anakupeleka kwenye counterpart eh yani anakupeleka kwamba yeye ndo awe counterpart wako kwenye B book kama deposit yako ni ndogo lakini kama deposit yako ni kubwa anakupeleka kwa A book uende uka trade na big banks yeah? kwa sababu yeye hakuwezi yeye hawezi kuwa counterpart wako kwamba wewe una uwezo wa kutorelate uh, uh, pullbacks ambazo ni kubwa sana au anything else kwamba ukiwa unaenda katika direction fulani kabla ni kunauza yeye akianza kununua anaweza kanunua mpaka kashindwa yeye kwa hiyo actually yeye atakupeleka kwenye A book ili uweze uka trade na nini uka uka trade na na big banks lakini hivyo vitaendana na vitu kama leverage na nini kwamba mtu unakuta deposit ni ndogo leverage ni kubwa unapoongeza leverage maana yake risk kwako ni kubwa kwa unapojiweka katika risk kubwa maana yake broker kwake risk inapungua kwa the end of the day ukitumia leverage kubwa pia moja kwa moja anajua huyu wa kwetu anakupeleka kwenye bibu lakini yule anatumia leverage ndogo maana yake risk yake ni ndogo anampeleka kwenye a book aka trade na big banks, hedge funds na vitu vingine huko. Lakini na ukinachomata ni nini? Kwenye tumeona idea ya trading history. Kwamba kwenye B book broker anaangalia trading history yako. Kwa hiyo mara nyingi kama unakuwa na winning trades nyingi. Now, kama unakuwa na historia ya kuwa na winning trades, winning trades zinapokuwa ni nyingi sana broker anakuwa na kuogopa kwa is like an experience kama wewe ni experienced trader broker hawezi kuwa counterpart wako hata hataweza kukubali yeye kuwa counterpart kwa moja kwa moja anakupeleka kwenye a book ukapambane na big banks lakini kama anaona you are a beginner losing trades losing streaks losing streaks yani umepoteza unapoteza muda wote Akiona wewe unapoteza sana kwa sababu yeye anachotaka ni kutengeneza pesa kwa kupoteza sana kwako ni kutengeneza pesa kwake anakupeleka straight kwenye bibu kuili kwa pambane naye uh, aweze ku trade against you. Kwa experience ina matter. That's why kuna baadhi ya brokers unapofungua account unapojiregister kwao 
wanakuuliza your trading experience your trading strategy and other things eh kwa when you are putting those things wanaweza ku note ah huyu trade zake tu uzipeleke kabisa kitabu gani kulingana na hizi information ambazo anakuwa ana provide but it is not bad it's not bad nothing is bad with a book nothing is bad with b book yani ukaona totally ah kitabu fulani basi it's not good broker akisema anatumia nini na sio kwamba atasema none of the broker anaweza kwenda straight akakwambia Uh, I don't know kama kutakuwa kuna broker lakini kwa kawaida broker hatukiuliza mara nyingi mfano we have those brokers wanaweza ku make a phone call broker wanapiga ga simu wengine kuna wengine wanazoka chat nao kwenye platforms zao lakini one day jaribu kumuliza broker which book do you use muulize broker uh, uh, customer support muulize which book do you use do you use a book b book or you are using hybrid mara nyingi most of brokers they, they don't tell that huwa hawasemi ile kitu na huwa hata haifahamiki hata kwa kwa wale customer support yani ndokuta broker mwenyewe ndo anaweza kujua kwamba which type of uh, uh, risk model i'm using lakini unakuta hata wale customer support hawajui which model inatumika kwa hiyo tukiwauliza actually you never get a uh, clear information about which book they use kwa hiyo ni kitu ambacho yes just try unazuka pata information about your broker. Kwa hiyo now is something like that. Lakini generally beginners uh, beginners wa mara nyingi ndo wanakuwa wanapelekwa wanakuwa registered kwenye bibu. Kwa hiyo yani kiujumla yani an overview as I have said before kwamba generally ukiwa ni beginner. Kwa kuna broker wale unakuta wame stick zaidi kwa beginners wana provide call, beginners calls wana register beginners and other things unakuta generally they are in bibu kwa sababu when a broker is using a hybrid a book and b book usually in a I mean in b book anakuwa anatengeneza pesa nyingi lakini kuna riski kubwa ya kupoteza lakini in a book kule atakuwa anatengeneza pesa kidogo ambayo iko na riski ndogo kwa atakuwa na alternate those things eh? kama alikupeleka kwenye b book akaona ah tayari una win sana anakurudisha kwenye anakupeleka kwenye kwenye a book hapa ndipo utakapokuja kuona When you are trading as time goes jinsi ambavyo account yako inazidi kuwa kubwa it's how trading becomes a simple ndio wakati ambao trading inakuja kuwa simple jinsi ambavyo unafanyaje unaendelea ku trade ni kutokana na kwamba kwenye bibu kuna pokuwa una una, una trade uh, na broker actually ni unatengenezwa mazingira makubwa sana ya kulusi lakini ukipelekwa kwenye a book kule unakuta mazingira yanakuwa sama hau sama hau cool ndio maana wale wenye deposit kubwa wana trade katika cool conditions lakini ukiweka dola mbili unakuja kuona market is like iko against na wewe ya yeah, in every point. Kwa now something like that we are through with this lakini we'll cover other things on the second part about the brokers ambao tutaongelea uh, regulation ya brokers lakini pia yes kwa regulation ya broker tutaangalia liquidity provider and mainly the issues on tutaangalia different between liquidity and volatility kuna kitu iko pale mara nyingi tunaambia volatility is low volatility high this market is more liquid this is less liquid kwa kuna vitu kama vile lakini volatility tutaangalia the rate of exchange tutaangalia tu next time volatility tutaangalia rate of exchange liquidity number of traders involved in that particular market kama unasema forex is the most liquid kwa sababu most of traders they are there umeona wako wengi wana trade forex that is the that's why it's the most liquid lakini unasema labda during news the market is more volatile it is more volatile kwa sababu rate ya exchange during news inakuwa ni kubwa kwa just in a small picture you can have that those informations lakini we will cover them in the, in the in the in the second part now which one is uh uh which one to choose maybe kati ya our brokers which one to choose umchague up which one to choose uh oh, oh, oh. nafikiri now this is uh ndo swali la beginners wengi which broker can i use which broker can i use now ni broker kana utamtumia please listen this part now always broker kana utamtumia it will depend on yourself <laughs> that is all it will depend on yourself yani hakuna sehemu mimi nitakwenda straight au utaona sehemu panakwambia straight forward use a book oh straight forward use b book ah uh, haiko vile lakini now what i can say itategemeana na we mwenyewe sasa itategemeana na we mwenyewe katika vitu gani well several things there example your trading session <laughs> itategemeana mfano tukiangalia kuna kitu mfano tuseme your trading your trading session 
based on your trading session inaweza kuwa ni sababu ya wewe kuchagua which type of broker uh, uh, utaweza kumtumia kwa hiyo kwa mfano wewe unakuwa uko busy sessions zingine au wakati mwingine uko very busy halafu unapata time ya kutrade wakati market imekuwa less volatile umeona labda unakuja kupata nafasi ya kutrade wakati Uh, unapata nafasi ya kutrade wakati market iko iko less volatile. Kwa kama unapata nafasi ya kutrade wakati market iko less volatile, maana yake inabidi je uangalie a big book broker ambaye yeye anakupa uh, fixed spread, ambaye anakupa fixed spread, atafaa zaidi kumtumia katika kutrade kwenye less uh, less volatile. Kwa <laughs> that, that's the condition. Kwa uwezo kusema tu a book is good or b book is good. It depends on which criteria are you looking for lakini pia bibu ku brokers wao ambao wanatumia uh, wanaotumia wana, wana fixed spreads tutakuja ku relate pia ndo huko kwa hadi kama una trade news uh, those who trade fundamentals for those who trade uh, fundamentals kama na trade fundamentals please uh, you have to use bibu also tumia tumia bibu bibu ku broker kama natumia kama una una, una trade fundamental kwa Utaweza kwa kusema tu ah, which broker is the best. Wewe unaenda ku trade fundamental unauliza which broker is the best utaambiwa the A book. Lakini kumbe kwenye fundamentals the A book actually hawezi ku cooperate vizuri actually. Hawezi ku run big banks na nini wale uh, liquidity providers wanakuwa hawawezi cooperate wakati wa uh, wa news. Lakini utaangalia vitu kama cost of, of operations. Utaangalia vitu kama cost of, of, of operations. Cost of, of operations ni kwamba unapo place trade yako the way trade na run unaweza kuwa labda kuna commissions kunaweza kuwa kuna spreads au swaps na vitu vyote kwa hiyo unaweza kufanya consideration ya ile ili uweze kuchagua kuchagua broker kwa mfano the a book now kwa mfano the a book ambapo ukiwa kwenye uh, category ya commissions ukiwa kwenye category ya commissions actually you can find that a book anakuwa iko vizuri ukiachana na upande wa spreads upande wa commissions unakuwa uko mzuri kwa sababu ukishakuwa charged na ile commission hakuna kitakacho kuja kubadilika hapa katikati everything will remain constant itabakia tu mpaka utakapotoka kwenye trade will be charged the uh, the last trip cost kwa utakuwa na hiyo kwa ukitumia a book kama kwa upande wa ku minimize cost zako za operation kama broker ameshaonyesha ana commissions ndogo kwa it is the better it's better kutumia a book lakini kuliko kutumia yule mwenye floating spread mara nyingi floating spreads au anakuwa na spreads zina vari kulingana na conditions kwa it's not the best kwa hiyo unaweza the a book ambapo mara nyingi wanajiita kama the ecn brokers and other things you can do that kwa ina inategemeana na, na na conditions vitu vingine vinategemeana kama trading style trading experience mara nyingi labda mfano experience <laughs> most of beginners unaweza uh, kushauriwa beginner 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 tumia the big book ukiwa kama beginner tumia the b book hiyo ni kaushauri cha bure oh, you can use the b book ukiwa kama ukiwa kama beginner angalia broker ambaye ana b book hapa yani kama anatumia hybrid kama anatumia hybrid uh, actually nenda tu kwenye kategori ya zile account unakuta kuna kategori ya account ambayo um, inakupa inakupa spreads or fixed spreads actually you can uh, you can trade with that lakini trading style nazo pia will cover the things eh mtu anafanya scalping mtu anafanya ana swing na nini yani yes there are many things sasa those are things that most of people they don't take considerations wanapokuwa wanachagua brokers mtu ana broker gani anatumia yani that's the only information ambayo mtu anauliza anauliza tu broker gani anatumia broker fulani na yeye ana jump into that broker bila kuwa na those important informations kwamba huyo broker yeye yuko vipi eh conditions zake ziko vipi na mimi na trade vipi kwa uh, yes unapotaka kujua broker sema i'm trading this way this way na trade nini kwa mfano market maker brokers market maker brokers wana provide very high, high volatile uh, instruments unakuja kuna very volatile instruments wanazoweka mle wanazoweka very high volatile instruments kwa sababu zina risk kubwa kwa kama zina risk kubwa kwa wewe trader maana kuna possibility kubwa ya kulose kwa hiyo unaweza ah broker ana provide vitu fulani vitu fulani vitu fulani viko very volatile ah unajua this is market maker even though hajaweza kueleza lakini you can have those clue of informations kwamba anaweza kuwa ni 
market maker that's all those are the stories that i thought that we have we can have today nitaka tupige those stories kwa sababu tulikuwa na vitu vingi vya kufanya for, for today and hatakuwa na traders talk and other things so nikapenda sana to share uh, those valuable information and it's about a uh, hour now ni kama saa moja sasa linakwisha kwa it is enough it is enough inatosha sana kwa uh, kwa content ambazo tumeza kushare kwa siku ya leo so keep on watching make your comment down there weka na comment yako like button lazima we click pale kama una like au kama like click the thumb down the thumb down eh kama uja like yako you can do anything else with this video like and make sure that you share kwa sababu ni vitu ambavyo wengi wa wasomi wengi wa wafundishi eh hawafundishaji watu things like this viko kimya sana kwa we are trading blindly most of time that's why we are losing so now that's the end thank you and have a nice time